since the concurrence of the state government was not required for the exercise of power under Article 370, bracket 1, bracket D, to apply all provisions of the Constitution to the state, the President securing the concurrence of the Union of India on behalf of the state government is not malafide. The next issue is the challenge to, Art to CO 272 on the ground that it is ultra vires Article 370, 1D, because it modifies Article 370. We have held that the modification by CO 272 to Article 367, as it applies to Jammu and Kashmir, had the effect of amending Article 370 and is thus ultra vires Article 370, bracket 1D. We have reached this conclusion for the following reasons. First, recourse must be had to the procedure contemplated by Article 370, Clause 3, if Article 370 is to cease to operate or is to be amended or modified in its application to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. No other procedure may be utilized to amend Article 370. Second, the rule of interpretation that a power under a statute must be exercised in accordance with the provisions of that statute and in no other manner, is undoubtedly applicable to the Constitution. Third, from precedent, including Shankari Prasad Singh, Sajjan Singh, Kihoto Holohan, and Rajendra Shah, it emerges that the following aspects are of significance when assessing whether a change has been made to a provision of the Constitution. One, a change may be either in terms of or in its effect. Two, a change can be said to have been made even if the language of the concerned provision is not directly amended. By adding, subtracting, or modifying the language, this is a change in effect. And three, if the effect of an amendment is to change a provision, such effect must be significant or appreciable. And four, the substance of a change is more important than its form.